race and the University of Alabama. It's something we've been talking a lot about for the past week or so. The move towards meaningful integration started on the Alabama football team. And two big names were at the center of it, Bear Bryant and Joe Namath. Ed Krasminski is the author of Rising Tide, and he's here to tell me more about it. Ed, thank you so much for being with Thanks us Thanks for today. having me. It's good to be here. This is a very timely time to talk about your book. Yes, it is. Uh, the 50th anniversary <coughs> of quite a few things, the desegregation of uh, the University of Alabama, uh, and uh, also on the football field and slightly off the football field, the suspension of Joe Namath occurred in 1963 as well, ah. uh, which was kind of a big deal for football fans and Joe and Coach Bryant alike. Now let's talk a little bit about how I think most people understand and realize how Coach Bryant fits into uh, integration at the Capstone, but, but what about Joe Namath? Joe Namath came from Pennsylvania and um, had played for an integrated team, lived in an integrated neighborhood, uh, and came to Alabama in the midst of all this turmoil and civil rights movement and uh, things like that. And, uh, had to handle himself uh, in, a, in a variety of ways as a student, as a football player, uh, and as a visitor to the South at the beginning. And uh, handles himself with great grace and uh, doesn't um, uh, do an awful lot in terms of uh, breaking the color line, but, but certainly does a lot in terms of uh, making it more acceptable to um, uh, allow different types of people to come to the school, different types of football players, uh, and, and possibly even uh, with Bear Bryant, uh, allowing for a kind of uh, different kind of personality than what was used to. He wasn't the cookie cutter Alabama football player of the, uh, the early 1960s by a long shot. Especially in this part of the, the country. Especially in this part of the country, yeah. Joe came down, uh, Hungarian. Uh, oftentimes newspapers would refer to Joe as Italian. Uh, <laughs> you, could, you could almost feel them saying, ah, Italian, Hungarian, wretched refuse, what's the difference? Some Something. E some ethnic from the north, we don't even care if right. we get it right. And uh, yeah, looked a lot different. And, f and for some people, as we found out, uh, Joe was um, a kind of Magyar prince coming uh, through town and, and really uh, exciting the place and, and making things better. For other people, there were a lot of them, um, a lot of outside the campus mostly. I looked at him like a gypsy, a, mm. kind of a dirty tramp coming through town and stealing the Alabama football knowledge for, for in a northern mind. I think he was ultimately accepted pretty well, though, after that. Uh, people tend to still like Joe. Yeah, I think they do. He's still pretty popular. Uh, so, Coach Bryant and Joe, Namath, obviously these were two men that were very good for each other on the football field. Amazing careers for both of them. But off of the field and whenever it specifically comes to issues of, of citizenship and prejudice and integration, they learned a lot from one another and helped each other. They absolutely learned a lot from one another. I think Joe um, uh, Joe showed off that, 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 that she could have confidence as a 17 to 21 year old um, uh, and still be an, an admirable football player. But I think what he got from Coach Bryant was even more important. Um, uh, Joe began to take football for granted and uh, he got caught uh, drinking one night and Coach Bryant had to make a tough decision whether or not to suspend him for that. And if it seems like a mild indiscretion now, it was even then. It wasn't much of a big deal. But Coach Bryant suspended him because he realized for Joe to become the full person that he could be, um, he needed to, to taste this kind of hardship. And I think that that really solidified their father-son relationship. And what Coach Bryant did for Joe uh, couldn't have worked out better. Uh, strangely, when Joe injures his knees, I think that the suspension prepared him for some of the troubles he was going to have on the field and realized that not everything was going to come easily. Ed, thanks so much for being with us. Best of luck with the book. Thank you very much for having me. You can meet Ed and grab a copy of his book Friday and Saturday. He'll be signing copies at the Soup Store before the game on Saturday starting at noon. And you can catch him at the Bryant Museum tomorrow at 1 p.m.